Hello everyone, my name's Chris. I own a small media company here in Adelaide, South Australia called Intrinsic Media. And I'm making this video as there seems to be some confusion in regards to plugging in a PC or a laptop into an ATEMS or Blackmagic ATEMS. Um, I'm currently using the ATEMS Television Studio Pro HD for this demonstration. Um, as you can see on the right hand side, you have our multi-view um, and our main screen here for our PC. Now this has been set up before, but I've reset it back to the standard, um, pretty much as you would say, out of the box configuration. Um, so I run 1080i50 for most of my events if I need high speed frame rates, I may go to uh, 1080p60. But for this demonstration I'm using 1080i50 which is pretty much the broadcast standard. Um, so if you right click on the desktop now there will be different versions of onboard video. In this case I'm using a display port to HDMI cable plugged into my ATEMS. Um, so if you right click go to graphics properties you'll see this box pop up. Now this is a newer looking version of the Intel onboard graphics. I do have an older version on my laptop which I'll show you as well. Um, so it'll come up saying do you want basic or advanced settings. I've clicked on advanced. Um, it's brought up to the display menu here. If you click on your display and go to your Blackmagic product here. Um, currently it's set at 1080i50 as you can see here 1920 by 1080 and 1080i59p. I need it 50i. Click apply and you will see straight away that it's popped up now on the right hand side. That is literally all there is to it. You do not need decimators or up down cross converters or other format changes as is mentioned by other people in other videos. Um, this is a flawless way. It's always worked for me in the time that I've been using it. It allows me to use VLC Pro Presenter which is a big thing I use in regards to putting media onto my ATEMs. Uh, Kronos which is a, a sort of push through program that allows me to send messages or place a time or give a countdown timer to any of the guests that we're talking to for a foldback monitor on stage. Um, I'll show you now the laptop version, how the laptop works. Um, and basically if you're using a, um, say I, I don't have an AMD card to show you, but if you're using a Nvidia card here, I'll show you that as well uh, very shortly. Okay, I've now plugged in my laptop. Um, this is using in onboard Intel graphics as well. This is one of my laptops that I actually use to play back media, so um, whether it be video files or PowerPoint presentations or whatever the case may be, YouTube files, whatever. Um, for this one, it's very much the same as the last, so you go to Graphics Properties, right-click Graphics Properties. Um, this is a different looking graphics control panel. Once again, it's Windows 10 Pro. Um, so yeah, as once again, built-in display is not what we want, so we want the digital televisions, the black magic, same black magic, back under 1080. Um, now this is 59p again, change to 50Hz or 50i, press OK, click apply, straight away it shows up. Now the other thing I'll show you too is when you right click on the taskbar, go taskbar settings, it'll bring this up. Um, now you need to have a verified copy of Windows, if you don't have it this will not work. Um, but if you come down this way and click on show taskbar display on all, if you turn that off, on your second window, you will not have anything over there anymore. So it's all gone, which is really handy. Okay, um, this is my main PC. Um, so you will now be able to see how to use GeForce. So I have a GeForce 1080. Um, so we go to the right click, go to the NVIDIA control panel. I'm um, using a DisplayPort HDMI. Um, this is the program that you'll get, the screen that you'll get. So you want to click on the Blackmagic HDMI. Uh, so it's already selected 1080i. It's on 30 hertz. If we switch to 25 and click apply, it should pop straight up. And there we go. It is literally as simple as that. So there's no problems. Um, so 25 hertz versus 50, but it is 1080i here as you can see. You can click on customize and have a look. Um, you can create your own custom one if it's not in there just by clicking on create custom resolution. Uh, you can set it to, I'll show you quickly, come here so you can see it refresh uh, to 20, f sorry you want to change it from inter uh, progressive to interlace, change that to 50 and it will work fine. I hope this has helped you. Um, as I said you do definitely do not need to have any extra pieces of equipment. Um, I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Chris and I hope to see you next time.